Hey, welcome back to our last episode in this series where we look at things that we can do to, to crush our goals. We covered starting with the end in mind. We looked at how long it takes to form a habit. And in the last episode, we looked at three things that can help us stay on track throughout this process. Now we have days where this all feels easy and then we have days where it doesn't feel easy at all. So when should we accept this and when should we actively gain some willpower and just go for it? Episode four, let's go. When we look at it scientifically, doing something requires what we call willpower. We use it to either resist impulses or to act on impulses. On days where we, it's hard to stick to a plan, there's a good chance that you're low on willpower. We can see willpower as a battery. When the battery is full, it's easy to get stuff done. But when the battery is low, it's all that much hotter. So what drains a battery? First up, having to suppress impulses. For example, if you're trying to lose weight and there is a bowl of candy sitting on your desk, constantly tempting you, it costs a whole lot of willpower to not to take that. Downing and trying to get something out of your head also drains that battery fast. We know that sleep debt and exercise poverty makes it that much harder for us to stick to the plan. Another one is losing overview and therefore feeling a lack of control. And lastly, multitasking is proven to be a real power drainer. There are also things that can give you a boost of willpower. Exercising increases willpower. A clean workspace has proven to boost willpower as well. A five minute meditation and a super short six minute nap also show improvements. And lastly, evoking a smile also helps to boost willpower. A great way to do this is to scroll through your photo roll remembering good memories. Or watching a short clip on YouTube always makes you smile. So let's be real. We all have an occasional bad day, and that's to be expected. Sometimes failure is part of the process. It happens. It will make us a little bit more resilient and help us move forward to achieve the goal. Sometimes you might find that you need to readjust the goal and that is perfectly okay. You may find out that you need a little bit more time to do something, no problem. Our goals are very fluid and organic. They can change upon how our life moves. Be cautious of falling into the failure trap. And that's that mindset where you say, well, I've already missed a day, so why continue? If you had a flat tire, you wouldn't slash all the other three. You would fix that one tire and keep going. Just remember, you always have the possibilities of changing midstream and continuing to achieve. So if we're not feeling it on a certain day, rest assured, it happens to the best of us. And by now, we know what reduces our willpower and what boosts it. So when it comes to crushing our goals, start, no matter where. After taking the first hurdle, there is a realistic expectation that the goal can be achieved. Make a plan and work towards making it a habit. And lastly, we should not give up when the going gets tough by keeping that end goal in mind. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that this series gave you some new insights. And we'll see you in the next series. Bye.